very methodical. And, you know, now that we have a pretty established process, like, we, we come in, we turn music on, we get into a flow. Sorting is a really critical part of the process. The idea is just to sort out all the bad beans so you have a more consistent flavor in your chocolate. Some chocolate makers will tell you that sorting doesn't matter at all and they completely skip it. I'll look for stuff that's broken or anything that may have insect damage. Uh, you'll find beans that are a little moldy. Like this is kind of an old moldy bean. Once I have uh, three sorted Cambros of beans, uh, we preload the rotating drums in each roaster and we set it to a specific roast time and profile. It's the same idea as roasting coffee. So you roast coffee to uh, get the most flavor out of it. So roasting is the most critical part of flavor development in chocolate. If you eat a raw cacao bean, it has sort of a fermented, wet taste. When we get a new bean or a new origin, we spend a good amount of time testing different roast profiles and times and making sure that we find a profile that suits the bean. So once we finish the roast and we give the beans adequate time to cool, uh, the beans are winnowed. The process of winnowing is just separating uh, the cacao nib, which is the inside of the cacao bean, from the husk, which is essentially the shell. It's like shelling a peanut. Once we have our winnowed cacao, the cacao is brought over to the melangers, machine that you, we use to grind the cacao. Cacao is roughly 50% fat. It's just cocoa butter. The cacao is easier to work with in the melanger if it has a little bit of released fat to work with already. By the end of that, it will have ground all of the solid nib into liquid. We spend time adjusting the temperature of the cacao and the sweetener, which in our case is honey. Most companies use cane sugar in their chocolate as opposed to honey. Then we introduce cacao silk, um, which is essentially tempered cocoa butter. That tempered cocoa butter allows us to get the whole pot of sweetened chocolate into the correct crystal structure. Once it's liquid, we can go through the process of tempering and pouring. Uh, we go through the splash test and the test bar to make sure that we're getting the proper results, making sure our chocolate is releasing from the mold, it's setting properly and within a certain amount of time. And once it's in spec and it's ready to go, then we pour bars. And since we hand pour, we have to be really specific about the weight of the bar. All of our bars are packaged at 2.2 ounces. You know, we do our best to learn what 2.2 ounces looks like in the, in the mold before it flows out. And then once we kick the vibrate up and watch it flow out, we get a better idea of what we're looking at. Yeah, it's pretty much learned technique at this point.